Whether you're replacing the entire valve cover or just the gaskets, following the torque sequence is very important. First, you'll want to ensure the gaskets are fully seated before placing on the valve cover as straight as possible. But if you get hooked on a line or two and need to accommodate, that's normal. Just seat the 26 E10s in place by giving them a few turns to ensure everything is lined up. Now check that the gasket is still seated along the valve cover, and if you need to, use a pick with very light pressure in the areas you can't see. Now for the sequence, and we'll do this in two steps. Since all the bolts are threaded in, drive them down until you have some resistance or with a low torque tool like this ratchet until it stops. The only bolt that will give us trouble is number 20. For this, use a quarter inch E10 on a wobble extension, while the other 25 can be reached with a straight extension and even the 3 8 E10. Once everything is snug, torque in the same order, but I went up half a newton meter to nine on number 20 to account for the wobble. The rest should be tightened down to eight and a half newton meters. Doing it in this order will ensure the best longevity for your valve cover and gaskets. However, if you plan on just replacing the gaskets, then you'll also want to loosen these 26 E10s in the same order. To see more valve cover tips, check out my previous videos, and I'll see you in that one.